Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newcubio.com. That's our website. It's a QBO blog. So you want to check it out. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how to apply additional cost to inventory items in QBO. So here's a scenario. You have a business, you import uh, custom hardware from China, and uh, you have a uh, uh, couple of suppliers involved. And uh, the number one supplier, the manufacturer, they charge you $100 each, let's say. And then on top of that, you have to pay shipping $30 each, and let's say for insurance, you have to pay $20 each. As you can see from this example, total cost is $150, but the uh, shipping and in insurance that represents uh, about one third of uh, $150. So that's pretty significant. Uh, if it is not significant, if it's like uh, less than 5% or so, you can just expense it and don't worry about uh, allocating uh, uh, shipping and insurance to the product cost. Okay, so product cost $150, that's, the, that's our scenario here. So I'm going to go to uh, Cookbooks Online. Okay, so it's our Cookbooks Online. And uh, I'm going to show you our product and service first. See how this is set up for this product. Okay, so hardware from China. As you can see here, your total cost is $150 and your selling price is $300. And uh, this, is, this is how it's set up. So when you add to inventory, it goes to inventory asset account. That's your, that's your default account, no need to change it. And uh, then you have income account and you input uh, your cost here, $150 selling price is 300 and your $150 is your cost, total cost, uh, your manufacturer's uh, cost, shipping and handling, uh, all related costs, additional costs. And then when you sell it, basically it goes to cost of goods sold and comes out from your inventory asset account. So that's how inventory works. Okay, so, uh, so that we know now. So now, uh, so th make sure that this, this hundred fifty dollars is in this uh, cost field, and just in case you uh, you haven't received, you haven't entered uh, 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 inventory, and but if you're writing a negative inventory, like creating an invoice based on negative in, in, in inventory, negative quantity, then this this uh, this hundred fifty dollars uh, uh, plays a, a critical role. So it comes out from this $150 as a cost of goods sold. And if you just leave it uh, zero, then, you know, it will, uh, when you, if you create a negative in negative invoice, then in there's, there's no cost to sell, so it will be zero. So, but you don't want to create negative inventory. Uh, so you want to make sure, uh, you know, before you're creating invoice, you have uh, enough quantity in hand. Okay, so let's start with uh, how do you want to do this. Okay, so now I've already done it here. The first one here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so the first one, uh, you have three suppliers involved. Okay, so I have three suppliers. Supplier one, it's uh, it's the uh, uh, supplies your products. Supplier two, let's say it's the shipping one, and supplier three is your. Uh, insurance uh, handler broker whatever okay so so when you enter a uh, cost uh, for the inventory you have to enter it as $150 although you are paying only $100 to your a1 supplier okay and the difference between 100 and 150 you just book it as uh, uh, accrued cost so it's a negative 150 so uh, 150 minus 50 is uh, is the amount you pay to this A1 supplier, okay? And uh, once you receive uh, a bill from uh, a A2 supplier and A3 supplier, A3 supplier 
for uh, insurance and shipping, you basically apply against this accrued cost. I'll show you the, that one too. So, so the critical part here is uh, you need to uh, the first one when you book your inventory uh, under item details, you need to show your your total cost. Okay, so if you just saw hundred dollars in here, next time, if you get these two bills, uh, then you know uh, it, there's no place to add uh, fifty dollars without affecting the quantity in here. Quantity in here. So that's the focus of this video. That's what that's when you, that's what you need to do. Okay. All right. So now still off here. Okay. So. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to save this. So I'm going to show you how this accrued cost is your liability account, basically. And I'm going to show you how this one is set up in your chart of accounts. Okay, here we go. So this is basically the account type is other current liabilities, detail type is other also also other current liabilities. Uh, they work fine. You know you have this in here, uh, and the uh, name you can you can say whatever you want. This accrued cost or uh, uh, or uh, uh, payable or whatever, but just accrued cost. Basically at this point it's accrued cost. You haven't received the invoice or my vendor bill yet. Okay, so now I'm going to go to. So if you go to the register, you will see. Okay, I, I will show this a little later on. And then once you receive uh, uh, two remaining invoices from your vendors, for example, uh, in here, uh, thirty dollars for your uh, shipping charges, you apply against under, under category details, not here, not under item details. Item details, it will ask you for the quantity, and so that's not going to work. Uh, you can just add value to this uh, uh, inventory item, so you have to uh, do it this way. And uh, so, thirty dollars is for uh, uh, your shipping, and it comes off from the accrued cost because you already accrued fifty dollars for the remaining uh, uh, remaining vendor bills, remaining cost for this product. Okay, so now let's look at the other one. Same thing, twenty dollar. Okay. Twenty dollars in here, right? Accrued cost, and let's look at the uh, uh, let's look at the uh, the account in here. So make sure the account once you everything is done, it's zero. So you can run the report underneath here. So you run report. So accrued cost under the drop down, you will see run report. Okay, so you originally accrued fifty dollars for uh, shipping and uh, insurance, and then you 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 received uh, uh, bills, uh, thirty dollars for shipping and twenty dollars for uh, uh, expense. So you may get it uh, right away or after one month or two months. So you know depends. Uh, so, uh, so but uh, you already. Uh, book the uh, inventory total uh, at at $150 so this is the only way you can uh, uh, you can you can uh, handle this type of transaction in QuickBooks online so that's the focus of this video hopefully it's uh, helpful to you and uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel we have a uh, free video tutorials and uh, we have two channels. Uh, one is a VV controller, and the second one is the one you're watching is QuickBooks QBO. Thank you again. Bye.